Hello and welcome to the JBNM Sports Fanatic channel. Thank you for joining me for this video. And we have some more news coming from the New England Patriots in which they're adding more depth to a position that certainly was a position of need entering into the offseason. Although it's been addressed, you can never have too much speed, and the Patriots certainly need to add more speed. And so they brought in receiver Marvin Hall, who spent some time with the Lions, the Bears, and the Atlanta Falcons as well, and I believe some time in Cleveland um, for a little bit as well, though not all that long. But still, um, so they're bringing in a guy who certainly has some big play ability to him. Now, throughout what he's done in the league thus far, you know, he's – um. Been in the league going back to 2017 when he came out of Washington. And for the Falcons in his first year, he had two receptions for 60 yards, so averaging about 30 yards a catch, and he even had a receiving touchdown. But then again, you know, that was a very, very extremely small sample size right there. In 2018, he had um, 10 receptions for 149 yards, so that's averaging 14.9 yards a catch and a receiving touchdown. But 2018 happened to be the one year in which they really did utilize him um, a, a little bit in terms of kick returning. He got to return 26 times, and he had 616 yards, including a 53-yard return. So he averaged 23.7 yards a return that season. And that would really be the only time in which he, I guess you can say, got a good amount of carries, or at least the bulk of his um, kick returns. Um, was in 2018 with the Atlanta Falcons. He just wasn't utilized like that, you know, with any other team since then. And so in 2019, you know, he spent that time with the Detroit Lions in which he um, suited up for nine games, had seven um, receptions for 261 yards. So that's averaging 37.3 yards a catch. So throughout his entire career, though, he ends up with a total of so far 37 receptions for 700 72 yards, um, averaging 20.9 yards a reception and five receiving touchdowns. So what does that tell you? Although still a very small sample size, it tells you that this guy does have some big playability, you know, even in 2018 with the Atlanta Falcons on a kick return. He's certainly someone that has speed, you know, good in the open space. And so certainly a guy like that, you know, I would have to imagine that, you know, should he be able to make the roster for the um, Patriots, that he certainly can provide some type of, you know, extra dimension. You know, um, I think of him as perhaps a lower uh, or I should say a less accomplished um, like Cardell Patterson type of um, thing. But it would be interesting to see, you know, just how the Patriots would utilize a guy like him. Um, should he be able to make the roster? And in terms of what the Patriots already have, we know they brought in Kendrick Bourne from the San Francisco 49ers. They also brought in Nelson Aguilar from the Las Vegas Raiders. And so they they certainly brought in more speed with Nelson Aguilar for sure. Um, but, you know, he's got to prove that he's going to continue to be consistent in terms of the production he had last year and hopefully even build upon that. You know, they still got guys like Jacoby Myers, you know, they still they drafted um, Trey Nixon. They still got Nikhil Harry, although he could, you know, end up being traded at some point. But that remains to be seen. Uh, Matthew Slater's coming back. They still have Gunner. So they have quite a few people here that's going to be competing for playing time. And, you know, quite a few quarterbacks as well that's competing um, across the board. You know, Cam Newton seems to be QB number one right now from the latest reports. But Mac Jones can change that at, a moment, in, in, at any moment, honestly. Um, then you still have Jarrett Stidham, you know, competing with Brian Hoyer, you know, see who's going to probably be that third quarterback um, for the Patriots this season. So we'll see, um, you know, how that all mixes out. Um, but in terms of what, you know, Marvin Hall was able to do prior to his time in the NFL, um, going back to high school, he was named second team all city wide receiver by the Los Angeles Times following his senior season. Also a second team all CIF LA city um, section parked by the coaches and helped lead um, his team to a 10-2 record as a senior um, in which they advanced to the LA City section quarterfi quarterfinals. And so in his senior year, he caught 31 passes for 673 yards and nine touchdowns. And so in 2012, he enrolled at University of Washington. Um, he participated in the 2012 spring game. Um, and after having and after not having played in the first two games, he saw some action um, against Portland State, you know, returning two punts for 13 yards and two kickoffs for 69 yards. He also played at receiver versus um, Penn State, but had two punt returns and four um, kickoff returns in the Stanford game. So, you know, he wasn't really utilized all that much, but he did get to see the field as a freshman. Now, as a sophomore, he played in all but two games, um, and he ended up you know, having a couple games against, you know, Idaho State in which he caught two passes for 20 um, yards, returned a punt at Stanford. 
Um, and then in 2014, as a junior, he played in every game other than versus UCLA. Um, and he completed a 28 yard pass actually in the win versus Illinois. Had a six um, yard carry versus Georgia State and a 10 yard carry versus Stanford. Threw a 36 yard touchdown pass um, at Arizona. So he's also shown he can throw the ball a little bit as well. And then in 2015, you know, he played in every game in 2015, saw action in Washington's um, season opener at Boise State, scored his first career touchdown, a 78-yard pass from Jake Browning in a win over Sacramento State. Now, there's a Washington um, player that I hadn't heard from in a minute, um, Jake Browning. But, um, yeah, so he certainly, you know, wasn't utilized perhaps as much, and the numbers probably don't jump out at you. But what he has shown is when he does get the opportunity – He has that big play potential. You know, he's someone that, you know, they don't give him a lot of targets, but when he does get the ball, it can be a big play. And so he has that boom type of, you know, potential to him. And so certainly, you know, at five foot 11, you know, about 195 pounds. So he's certainly, you know, small and shifty with it. And so the scouting report um, that they have, you know, as recent as, you know, 2020, is that in very limited reps, he shows big play capability um, when he was out there and they went to him, um, you know. So basically, you know, whenever he had his opportunity, his number was called, you know, he made some big plays. He showed he can get deep, you know, a big play receiver, got deep against um, Green Bay, the Giants, and Dallas. This is during his time when he's with the Detroit Lions. I mean, a fast-looking while running routes has some real speed and it builds. So basically he gets faster as his route progresses. And it seems like he's able to run his routes with those speed as well. And that's good because sometimes you'll see some fast players, but they aren't able to necessarily, you know, translate that, you know, 40 times speed, I'll just say, you know, over to actually in-game speed by running routes and stuff. But he's able to do that. He catches with his hands, has good takeoff speed and able to turn um, and hit the edge, you know, very extremely fast so he's someone to be very aware of if and when he's in the game and he's certainly a weapon they're saying that he can and has hit home run balls before so there you go there you have it i mean marvin hall someone that definitely has big play potential so we'll see you know just you know how long this happens to you know go on in terms of him being with the pass and if he's able to you know stay on the roster and actually get into some games this could be very interesting as a guy like him, you know, could certainly provide a spark for the Patriots offense, which last year certainly could use um, as many sparks as possible. Um, but with that being said, thank you so much for joining me for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, as more news continues to drop, you can be sure to find it here. So thanks again for watching and see you guys next time.